in this problem, we're given a two by two centimeter square. Inside that square, there is a one by one centimeter square in the bottom left corner. And in the top right hand corner is a circle that is as large as will fit in the gap that's left. And what we need to work out is what is the area of the circle. To start this problem, I'm going to add in a radius for our circle that meets the circumference at the point where the circle meets the top right hand corner of that little square. And I'm going to label this with length r. I'm then going to add in another radius, a vertical one going straight down. And I'm going to continue the top of this square along with a horizontal line that meets that radius. Now, as we've defined the radius as being vertical, as this is a horizontal line meeting it, they must meet at a right angle. I'm now going to do the same thing above our original radius, like such. And we can see by the symmetry of our diagram that these must be exactly the same as each other. So the original vertical line that I did must be the same length as that top horizontal line. As we've got the right angle there, that means it must be a square. So I'm going to label the sides of this square X and we can see that we've got a right angle triangle now with the hypotenuse length r, and we've got two sides of length x. As we've got a right angle triangle, we can now use Pythagoras' theorem to link r and x together. So the hypotenuse r squared must equal x squared plus x squared, which is 2x squared. Dividing both sides by 2, we get that x squared equals a half r squared. So x is equal to r over root 2. We can now use this. If I put in another radius horizontally to the right there, it's a radius, so it's got length r. And we can see that if we were to start on the right hand side of the large square, move across to the small square, we could go through r to get to the middle of the large circle, and then we would add on that x, the bottom side of the triangle. So that r and the x must be the distance from the large square to the small square which we know is one centimeter. So r plus x is equal to one, but we know that x is r over root two. Simplifying this, we've got r times one plus one over root two equals one. And so r is equal to one over one plus one over root two. Now this isn't in a great form so far, so let's try and simplify this. If we multiply top and bottom by root two, we will get rid of that fraction that's on the denominator. So we get root two over root two plus one, but we need to rationalize that denominator really. So let's multiply through by root two minus one over root two minus one. This would give us two minus root two on the top, two minus one on the bottom, which is just one. So our radius is equal to two minus root two. Now we've got our radius in a simple form. We can use this to work out the area of the circle. The area of a circle is just pi r squared. So pi times by the square of two minus root two. And the square of that is four minus four root two plus two. So we get pi times six minus four root two. And if we prefer that as a decimal, putting that into a calculator, we get 1.078 square centimeters to three decimal places. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the Doing Maths channel or check out some more of my videos by clicking on the links here.